So in this video I'll tell you how you can transfer data from your mobile phone to your computer wirelessly. So hey guys Nitish here back with another Ignite video and in this video I'll tell you how you can easily transfer data from your mobile phone to your computer and if you ever get stuck in this tutorial I want you to do two things first watch the tutorial till the end because it may happen that I'll be answering your uh, question or your problem in the later part of the video and if if you are not satisfied with that then leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer that and if the question is very common then I'll put the solution in the description box so two things watch the video till the end and always check the description box and one small favor I need from you guys actually I kind of lost my smart egg yesterday and I cannot find it anywhere so it may happen that in the later part of the video he will come somewhere just just leave a comment down below at what point you saw this smart egg in my video so let's just go ahead and watch the tutorial first of all we need to understand what do we need to do that so basically we will what we will do we will create our small website and that will be running in our laptop and we will upload our images or video file or anything that you want to transfer on your computer through that website make sense okay so first we need to understand how website actually works so the first thing is the client side and the other thing is the server side so our browser or we essentially we are clients to any website just let's take example of Facebook so you open Facebook on your browser or on your mobile app that is a client to Facebook so whatever you upload any images any video it goes into the Facebook server where they have very huge amount of computer and very large data center in which they store your photos and your videos and everything that you upload in a safe place basically that safe place is called server so your browser is a client and the server which is stored somewhere else that, that is also called data center sometimes so how this website works so basically you open you log into your Facebook account and when you go to your home page your profile page you what you do you simply send a request to the Facebook server which is sitting somewhere else and that server contains all your photos and videos so you will send a request that yeah guy I need those photos my photos that I have uploaded and those video so you will send a request you will ask the server that I need a photograph or a video that I want to see then the server will, will say yeah okay fine man you have uploaded you have your authentic user that thing server do basically they will identify whether you are authentic user or not and everything is fine then the server will send the images and the videos to your browser to your client side basically the app side so how this gonna help us to I mean do our wireless data transfer let's understand like this so what we are going to do essentially that we will create a local server a very small server which will run in our home network you can say in a Wi-Fi that's it no one outside of that Wi-Fi range will be able to access our small website that we are, we are going to create so we will create our small website in our laptop which will be essentially a server and we will access that small website that local website on your browser and what we will do from there 
we will upload our files and photos whatever we want to the laptop so this laptop will become a server and the, your mobile phone or your another laptop will become a client so just like you upload pictures on Facebook you will upload pictures on your server laptop so anything you upload here will go directly into your laptop and this is how we will create our local website for data transfer wireless data transfer basically and laptop will send a response that yeah upload is done fine you can move uh, move ahead and upload another file if you want so this is how it going to work so what do we need for that so there are couple of things basically you need first thing that you need is node.js so you go to this website called node.js.org slash in for english and go to the download section so depending upon your operating system whether you are on mac or linux or windows you can download node.js for your system and install that so this is pretty I mean basic you can for Windows it is like exe file you can simply uh, accept all and install and that will be work fine next thing that we are going to do is to we need to check whether node.js is installed properly or not so for what what we are going to do in Windows will open CMD I mean command prompt for Mac and Linux basically you guys will open terminal and type this command npm hyphen v it will show the version of node package manager installed on your computer basically so it's saying it has installed 2.10.10 .10. so this is fine we can move ahead and do the next step so moving on to the second step what we need is our small website where where we will start our small website so this is my git repository i have created easy mobile to computer on data transfer you can see the url i'll post the link in the description so you can go directly where once you go there i want you to go to release click on the release and you can see there's only one release and what you have to do you have to simply click download source and start download and you can see it is version 1 so in this version what I have did it is for only uh, one by one file transfer essentially that you have to upload file one by one but in the future version when you will go back to this uh, URL to this repository you will, you will see the second release also so in which I will provide an option uh, so that you can upload multiple files at the same time so so just keep that in mind okay uh, I will keep on updating this repository so now it's working for one by one file transfer in future it will work for multiple file transfer at the same time my file is downloaded so let's just go ahead and open that so I will put that in a, in a good place where I can remember basically uh, I suggest you do the same and what we are going to do we will unzip it extract here so the file is ex extracted you may delete the zip folder go inside this and you'll see this is the website which I have created you don't need to worry about what this thing is what it does no need to go inside if you are interested in node just leave a comment down below and maybe some other time I'll explain what this thing is so once you open that zip file and go inside the 
a small website that we have created you will see something like this okay so what we are going to do over here we need to start our terminal at this folder so for windows it is very straightforward you go to file and open command prompt in this folder if not for mac and linux and for windows what you can do you can type cmd for mac and linux you will type terminal and open your terminal and move to this this folder basically so for windows it is straightforward uh, type d colon now i am in d drive you can see and the folder name is easy mobile to computer and data transfer so cd for change directory i'm going to type easy and if i hit tab it will automatically complete the folder name so i am inside this folder now so what we are going to do now we will have to type this command npm start very carefully you have to type this only otherwise it won't work so what it will do it will spin up a little server in our local system so it will create a local system which has which has nothing to do with the internet so whatever you do the file transfer the uploading stuff it will not consume your internet data so this is how it will work basically you have noted down your wi-fi ip address this is very important this will uh, this will be like 192 168 and something something for your pc then colon 5040 so this is the computer in which your server is running and if you want to transfer data if you want to basically upload the data from any device which is connected to the same wi-fi you will open your phone browser or your uh, laptop browser from other laptop and go to this port basically so this port port number that we have here you will type this for this computer this is now 192.168.0.38 your will be different and colon 4050 so this is so on the different computer i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna type 192.168.0.38 colon 4050 uh, if i hit enter it will load a little ui so you can see it shows a little welcome screen a couple of instruction tutorial basically so to upload a file what we have to do we have to open choose file and select the photo that we have want to upload basically and you have to make sure that you select only one photo at a time from your mobile device or your computer because in this particular version it works for only one picture or one file at a time but in the future version you can check the updates from here you can download the latest version the version 2 that will support multiple file upload so if i hit submit what it will do it will upload the data and it will show uh, progress over here for the large file basically and this file is very small this image is very small so uh, so it has uploaded very fast so you won't be able to see any uh, progress bar but if you go to that uh, uploads folder of the our application see this is the our application and if you go to uploads folder you will see the file that we have uploaded is here so I can show you this side by side basically so here is I'm going to upload a new picture let's say this is the picture I have selected and if I hit submit see, uploads magically it comes into your local website that you have created so cool thing about this small website that you can open this on your mobile phone on the other laptop so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends show how cool stuff you know about wireless data transfer those guys are living in a primitive age using their application for data transfer and here you have built your own application and using that on your own computer so that is the cool thing this i am telling you so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give it a like or thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one
Talent Kibang.